This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI Panthers pick up a 42-21 victory in the homecoming football game over Southern Illinois. Coach, uh, you had two losses going into that bye week. You wanted to make some adjustments. From everything that we saw, it looks like those adjustments were made. Well, they they took it upon themselves to, to make it happen today, and that's what we had to. The, that internal investment of them making the play work is the most important thing. The offense seemed to be rolling. The defense, they were kind of feeding off of that offense as well. Well, it was critical. I thought the offense had got to, off to a really good start. I think we scored on multiple possessions in the first half, and, of course, that intercept for a touchdown didn't hurt right before halftime. Yeah, that was a really big one. Uh, talk about Darius Fountain offensively. Three touchdown receptions, five catches on the day for close to 90 yards. Yeah, he, he uh, first time in a long time since uh, way back in the Johnny Gray days that somebody had three touchdown catches in the, in the same uh, game. But uh, Darius attacked the football. That's what I really liked about it. He went after that football. The big target, too. Maybe uh, somebody that uh, that Bailey can can look to when he's in a tight spot. Well, I thought I I told him in my terms that I thought he grew up. I mean, he really showed up, and and how he did it, and other guys did as well. Jalen. Uh, James did the same thing. I thought he went after a great ball as well. So well, there are some big plays out there. Aaron Bailey, uh, three passing touchdowns, all to Fountain, a rushing touchdown as well. 186 yards passing, uh, close to 100 yards rushing. He did it with his feet, but his arm was keeping the defense honest. Well, he was 11 for 18. It was much better uh, production in the passing game. We went over the middle, we went to the perimeter, and we went over the top. And, and uh, so we, when you're balanced like that, you can make your run game work. That passing game was such a focus for him in the offseason. Good to see him now maybe take an extra breath in that bye week and get it rolling. Well, it was it was more than extra breath. We went to work on that bye week to, to get to where that was. And, and now we have a foundation to build from. That's what we need to take from this is we, we, we haven't arrived. We've, we've just got a base to work from now. Aaron Graham, Trevor Allen, a couple of freshmen working into the offense. First time we've seen them here this season. That was part of the adjusting that was going on that past week. I felt we needed to get those guys more involved. I thought they gave us speed on the field to open some other things up, and they did a nice job. What did you like uh, from your offensive line? I know Tyvis Smith, he had uh, not quite 100 yards, but he had some really tough yards that he got in between the tackles on Saturday. He got some tough yards. I look at protection. I mean, we're going to get our yards on the ground. It, it was that protection that I was looking at because those negative yard plays are what really stymie drives. So we wanted to reduce those negative yard plays and, and then throw the ball downfield and then still get the yards on the ground. Coach, uh, right before halftime, two touchdowns go up on the scoreboard for your UNI Panthers, one offensively, then the defense able to, to put seven up on the board. Uh, a lot of momentum pushed into halftime off those two plays. Well, that was, that was an exciting time. That, that little that two-minute run right there was pretty exciting because the offense was really making some great plays. I thought the defense made some great plays, but really what ignited everything. I thought the crowd was tremendous. They were absolutely fantastic. Homecoming crowd was uh, was really rolling. The Panthers got uh, a balanced attack offensively, both uh, through the air and on the ground. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Panthers' defense. They were turning the ball over. They were getting Southern Illinois to cough it up. We'll take a look at that more with Coach Farley after this here on Panther Sports Talk. <laughs> 